Welcome everyone, it's Megan here from the Teach Better team with a short video series to offer some information about quizzes. In these videos, we will talk about what is quizzes, how to create an account, creating or importing questions, assigning a quiz, and how you can use quizzes. So let's start with what is quizzes. Quizzes is a fun and engaging online tech tool that allows you to conduct student-paced formative assessments. Now that we know what quizzes is, Let's walk through the steps of how to create an account. Now that you have an internet tab open, we are going to go to quizzes.com. Make sure that the quizzes has two Z's at the end. It's going to bring you here. Now, your options are find a quiz and join a game. You can actually run a quiz without having an account, but it doesn't save then any of your results or any of your data. You can join a game, so students are able to come here, join a game, put in a code, then their name and be a part of the game. We're going to click sign up and create our first account. So again, you have an option of signing up with Google or putting in your email. I'm going to click sign up with Google. And if you don't see your Google account here, you can always click use another account and sign in with that account. I'm going to click my account and I'm going to click I'm a teacher, but again, it might be a business, it might be a student, could be a parent or other. I'm gonna click I'm a teacher and everything about quizzes is free. So select your organization. So I'm going to find my school. And the reason that they want you to select your organization or put in your school is because you can very easily share quizzes with other educators that are within your building. I'm a middle school educator. And now here it goes to what classes are you teaching? So like I teach seventh grade math. That's the only one I'm going to pick. You can add more. It doesn't affect how your ability to create a quizzes for a different topic or your ability to find another quiz. Okay, so now that I am back to this page, I'm going to click log in so that I'm, and let me go back here. Right here, you can see that I, I'm not logged in. If you're logged in, it's going to tell you your info here. So I'm going to click log in, log in with Google, and click the account I just used to create an account. And now I'm logged in. You can see my name here. It says view profile. Now, what we're going to talk about next, now that we have an account and we know what quizzes is, is how to actually create a quiz. So it's pretty simple. You can see right here, it says create a quiz. I'm going to click create a quiz. Quiz name. So I'm just going to call this a math review. You can see that because I already chose seventh grade math when I asked me my classes, this is always going to be my first option. But I also always have the option of clicking other and finding a different relevant class. Click next. Now I have an option of writing my own questions or teleporting from the quizzes library. Oftentimes I click teleport just because a lot of the questions that I'm going to come up with are already created, but you can absolutely click write your own. So I can type my own question in here and it does have like math equations. You can also add a picture or audio. And then it even gives you the option of having the right answer. So you don't have to have things that are evaluated for the right answer. If you're just looking for them, students to maybe answer a question and you're not actually putting that question as a point value or as a grade. And then you can list your answer options and you would click the one that would contain the correct answer. You can tag standards if you'd like. You can add more answer options. And down here, you can do time allotted. So this is the amount of time that they can answer the question. I honestly oftentimes turn off the timer. So like I'll pick, let's say, three minutes for every question. I turn off the timer and I will talk about that more when we get to assigning a quiz. But it's just something sometimes the timer gives some of my kids a lot of anxiety, like they feel like they have to answer quickly. And it actually still lets them answer the question when the timer runs out. It's just a setting where usually as they answer faster, they get more points. So then you would hit save. I'm going to hit cancel because I don't have any questions. Now, if you'd like to teleport, you would click teleport. 
And obviously the name of my quiz is going to show up. So let's change this to integer operations. And all of these already created quizzes are here. So I can just click one. If I like this question, I can click add. You can see that the correct answer shows up in green and all the other choices show up in red. So any of them that I like, I just hit add, add, add. I can always go over here and like switch. Say I like this one and I like that one and I like that one. I can change this topic anytime I want. And when I'm done, I just hit this arrow and it's going to show you all the questions you already have. Again, you can create your own questions or you can teleport or you can do a mixture of both. Now, when I'm done, I'm going to hit finish quiz and it's going to ask me if I want to add an image. So if you would like to add an image, you can. It's going to select a language, English. And then from Grades, I'm going to go from, since I teach seventh grade, I always just go from seventh to seventh. But you can change that if you'd like. That doesn't affect anything in your actual quizzes. I'm going to hit save. Again, this will say, do you want to share it with anyone? No, just hit the X. That's how you create a quiz. We, in the next video, we are going to talk about finding a quiz if you don't want to create your own and how to go ahead and assign that quiz to your students.